I'm Andrea Houston with Extra, and it was a historic day at Queen's Park. Bill 13, the Liberals Accepting Schools Act, has passed. Well, I'm so proud that uh, today we passed an important piece of legislation that will allow us to have supports in place in our schools by September to make sure that every one of our students can go to school in a safe and accepting place. I was very pleased to be able to work with the NDP uh, and to get that passed. You know, I'm, I'm disappointed and I think that the Conservative um, Caucus missed an opportunity to demonstrate their support for Ontario students and stand up for kids. You, you, have, you stood up in the House and said no to GSA, sir. I said no to Bill 13, voted against it again today. Uh -huh. yeah. We have a much better bill in Bill 14 that really actually attacks the issue of bullying. Uh, bill 13 doesn't actually do that and uh, we're quite content that uh, we've done the right thing in voting against Bill 13 because the government had an opportunity to bring bullying to the forefront by proclaiming Bill 14 and chose not to do it. So, thank you. What do you say to students who uh, want GSAs and who are being discriminated against their, in their schools? I guess nothing. What's the big issue in the problems? Our economy is heading backwards. Our province is bankrupt. And you folks are asking questions about names. These are at-risk youth, sir, who are killing themselves uh, in schools, and all they're asking for is support of clubs. You know, and that's why we brought forward a, a good bill that helped address bullying in, in all of its forms. But you know what? We've, we've had now days of debate and, and questions here from members of the media about uh, what names principals or should or should not give clubs. We lost 2,000 jobs at GM the other day. Is yeah, Dr. McGinty trying to make you look homophobic? Yeah, I and think uh, don't, don't tell me about jobs because uh, gonna, there are going to be more jobs. than one no. important issue is happening at the same time. But I'm going to tell you about jobs. Catholic school boards refuse to comply with the law. Uh, will the NDP support um, a one school system, a push for one school system? Well, I'm not going to go into the ifs. I'm, I'm confident that the, uh, the School boards, all all school boards are going to uh, to follow the letter of the law. That's what we would expect of them, and that's what I expect will happen. Do you have a plan to do anything about the actual Catholic doctrine itself, the pastoral guidelines, which state that gay people are intrinsically disordered and gravely depraved? Do you have any plans for those? You know, I have been very, very clear that. Our schools, whether Catholic or public, will be supportive place for all of our students. Uh, we, uh, as you know, we advanced an amendment that made it clear that I wasn't going to sit at Queen's Park and tell the students what the name of their club should be, and neither should anyone else uh, tell them what the name of their club should be. We're giving voice to students. We're making it absolutely clear. The debate in this province about whether you support students who want to have a gay-straight alliance, whether you support students who want to call it a gay-straight alliance, that debate is over.